What's up ladies and gents, Tenga230 here. I hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome to a brand new game called Hob. It came out uh, last month, late last month, and it is developed by Aruna Games, the folks who made Torchlight and Torchlight 2. And I know, I know, I'm starting up another game, uh, but I figured I really enjoy this game, so I, I really want to show it. And I know I still got a bunch of other games I got to do, um, but those will get done eventually. So... Speaking of Hob, though, I wanted to actually say that I played a little bit, and a lot of the game is a, a meditative experience. There's not that much dialogue in it, and you're really just there exploring on your own, listening to the ambient sounds. So I kind of want to keep that vibe with it, so I'm going to try not to talk as much. I know, I said this before, but I feel like it suits this game. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy Hob. Where's the golem? I'm trying to jump, but I don't think I can jump that high. What are these markings on the ground? Just not exactly sure. Looks like a button. Seems like there's a button on top of that platform as well. It looks like it's a save point. Seems like it activates as soon as I pass by it, so I don't need to enter. Where is this golem taking me? Also noticing that this golem has plants on his back. It's kind of reminding me of some of the golems in Near Automata, which I should get back to. Not exactly sure what all these purple pimples are about, but since it's contrasting with the nature, I almost got my head sliced off. It looks like some form of corruption. I will continue to follow you, Mr. Gollum. I hear some gurgling and burbling, bubbling in the area. Looks like the golem's the only one who can open these doors. There's also another button right there. Not sure what it's for yet. You will see later that this game, it kind of reminds me a bit of Hyper Light Drifter with a bit of journey. Because everything shown to you visually and through actions, you see it happen, but you're not exactly sure what it does and what to do. So you just need to experiment. The golem left me. Uh, I'm thinking he or she said, follow them. How do I do that exactly? There's a block here. I can jump on there. I wasn't sure how far I could jump. I was trying to push this block, but as soon as I press up on it, it doesn't move. So I tried jumping here, and for some reason, I actually latched on to that golden part on the side of that wall and it worked. 
Although technically, I, it, I think the game wanted me to jump on the block and then jump to the left on the gap, but I got up here anyway. So the first thing I immediately thought about as I saw this was The Last of Us. And it's contrasting to what exactly is going to happen next. I know I'm known for my cliffhangers. I'm not gonna end it here. You still have about six minutes left in the video, I think. And that golem gave its arm to us. To me. Why did he do it? Why did he or she do it? I don't know. I'm important in some way or another for that golem to do that. Now that I have this arm, we can move this block to make things easier. We're taking the same jump. We're looking for the golem right now. The platform where my arm got cut off. Gone. It's corrupted. At least most of it is. But that creature that spit its venom on my arm is gone. You guys remember that part in Lord of the Rings? The two towers? Where that uruk just ran in there and just blew it up with its dynamite? For some reason it reminded me of that. <laughs> So now we have the power of moving blocks with this arm. There's probably going to be more block block puzzles to move around. We've hit another save point, and we have found the golem. I'm not exactly sure what he or she said, but. It was probably to the extent of, I gave you my arm because your arm got corrupted. It's okay, I can build a new one myself. So it looks like we just got a sword out from the mound. What's it gonna be for? 
For the sword, obviously. We're gonna be fighting some enemies. So he gave me some parts. And those parts fill up the shape of a sword. So we're gonna be going into this... I don't know. Smithery? Is that even a word? Essentially, a place for blacksmiths. So, these are upgrade, I'm gonna say tokens, that we find when we defeat monsters. I do not have any yet, so I cannot upgrade. I wasn't sure what this was. And it looks like we have different outfits that might possibly do different things. Maybe certain abilities for this character. So I put one shard of the sword in there, a second one and it fills up. Now we have three. probably really hot but I think it's cool to the touch now we have a weapon to fight against I'm gonna say the corruption so we need to find another three shards to upgrade to another sword But before then, we'll have to head out there and fight some bad guys. Hopefully this is what the golem wanted us to do. Such a nature-loving golem. We're gonna test out the sword, like Link does, and chop up some grass. I'm gonna keep this episode at around this time, so you technically only had like five minutes left, so that's gonna be it for this first episode of Hob. I hope you guys find this interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed, so that's gonna be it for this episode. If you all made it this far, thanks for watching, and as always, take care, and Tinker 230 out. Alright, y'all, game on everybody, and keep smiling.